Hi, so we're just going to do a quick video here um, to show how we can install Remote Desktop on a Mac and how we can use that to connect to Maplewood Remote. So to do that, we're just going to go ahead and open the App Store on your Mac. Um, just make sure you have login for your um, Apple ID and whatnot. So I'm assuming that you have that access going into this. So once you're in the App Store, you just go ahead and search for Microsoft Remote Desktop and you're going to see um, depending on the version of um, Mac OS that you're on, you might see a couple of different versions. The one we want to get is Microsoft Remote Desktop 10 and it's going to have a round icon like this, the red icon as you see. And uh, in your case it might say get, so you just want to hit get and install the software. And once it's installed on your computer, um, you can go ahead and hit the applications icon. So at the bottom, if you hit the little rocket icon in your dock, um, it would uh, be called Launchpad. So if you click on that, you'll see all the different applications that are on your computer. And the one we want to open is Microsoft Remote Desktop. So once you are here, we're going to go ahead and just hit the yes or not now, whatever you want. We request access to your microphone or camera. You can just hit um, allow if you want to. In this case, we don't need to allow camera access because we're not going to need to do that. Neither do we need to allow micro microphone access. So we'll just let that go and it's going to bring you to a window like this. Here you're going to go ahead and hit add PC and your PC name is going to be the hosting address that we're going to connect to Maplewood. So because you're on a Mac, you're going to use mac.hosting.maplewood.com and then you can add a user account and this will be your username. So in my case, my username is um, it's going to be mwood, mwood is the server that we connect to, so we always put that, then we go backslash, um, make sure the slash is in the correct direction, so this is the backslash just above the return or the enter key on your keyboard, mwood, and then in my case it is mltc.edtech is my username. Now your username might be mwood backslash um, mltc underscore most likely a four letter school acronym which would be brdn bndn ersl depending on whichever school you're at so you would put that in so um, you would type in mltc dot brdn dot secretary so there could be you could be a secretary account you could be a secretary two account which is short uh, form is sec two i believe um, you could be a principal account or a vice prince account so the specific usernames you should have but we would enter that in here so in my case um, actually sorry let's do that br so it would be mltc underscore brdn dot secretary for all the schools it's always mltc underscore the school acronym but in my case i don't have a school acronym so mine is just ed tech and then the password would be your um, hosting password so again you would have this once we put that in um, you can just give it a, a friendly name, you want to call it uh, Maple, Maplewood, and then just hit add. And once that's done, um, we're just going to go ahead and check a couple of settings, make sure that we have the right stuff. So in display, you can use default if you'd like. If you don't like the resolution, feel free to change that around. Uh, for devices and audios, you want to make sure printers is checked off and clipboard is checked off as well. Um, this will give you access to print if you have any printers on your computer. It will be uh, remotely connected to the Maplewood system. So once that's done, we're going to go ahead and hit add. And you're going to see the saved version right there. So once that's done, you can just double click that. And it's going to start to do the connections. And now we're going to just go ahead and hit continue. It's checking. It's just telling us that it needs to authenticate. It might ask for the password if the password is not correct. Or it is correct and might still ask for it. So. We're going to enter that in there and then hit continue and continue. And as you can see, it just goes in and it's going to go ahead and authenticate everything that it needs to. Um, and come down to a smaller version so we can see it better. And then you can fit to window here as it's loading everything.
And on first setup, it usually takes a little bit longer, but once you're usually using it a few times, you should be good to go. So that's usually how you will access on a new computer um, from a Mac.